everybody. Happy Friday. It's seven days literally until Christmas Eve, so I cannot believe that. So welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. I am Brenda, and today we are going to resume my what's in my bag today. And what's in my bag today is Bath and Body Works. I did a um, candle cell haul a couple weeks back. And I'm just getting around to shooting this now video. I am excited to show you and share with you what I picked up in candles. So um, for Canada, I think it was $11.25 or $11.95 a candle. In the States, it was $10.25, I believe. Even still, um, our limit was 20 candles. And that's exactly what I bought was 20 candles. I know. <laughs> 20 is a lot. But I've just been going crazy for Bath and Body Works for the last couple of months. So when they had their candle day sale, it's like, yeah, I get to go. So I'm so excited about doing that. So how is everyone doing um, this Friday morning? Um, no snow here. It's been raining for the last couple of days. And then um, we're getting colder and we're supposed to have snow flurries. Of course, I'm packing to go away for the weekend to go see my grandchildren and of course they said snow and we've got to travel about five to six hours to see them so keep my fingers crossed that it's not a blizzard if so i won't be going <laughs> anyways how is everybody else's weather and um in this world doing and how are you doing this fine friday morning so leave me a comment down below I'm happy to um, always answer your um, questions or your thoughts. I always love reading what you have to say. Please like and subscribe so my channel can grow a little bit longer or a little bit bigger. <laughs> Not so much longer, but bigger. I appreciate everybody's su support of my channel. I'm having a lot of fun shooting these videos. So without further ado, let's go over my Bath and Body Works candles from candle day so I have 20 to share with you and this one it's I think it's gorgeous packaging it's kind of a um, I forget what they're called paisley but look at the dark blue this one's called dark blue night and I'm surprised that I even like this candle to be honest um, and then the lid is a gold lid so I really like the packaging and the scent notes on this is crisp mountain air, fresh lavender, a touch of musk. I'm really surprised that I like this one, especially with, with the um, touch of musk. But this is really pretty. To me, this is a pretty scent. It gives off like a perfume kind of vibe is what I would describe it as. You're definitely giving out crisp mountain air. You're getting that musk at the end, but the musk is making it perfumey like, and then you're getting that fresh lavender. And the fresh lavender isn't herbally, so I really like this one. So, dark blue night. So, I'm looking forward to burning that. So, that's pretty cool. That's my first one that I picked up. Another one that I picked up, the spiced gingerbread. Oh, look at it the label is kind of cute it's got the gingerbreads on it and then it's just this clear um, packaging not like the other candle and then I like the lid and the lid is really really pretty so this one scent notes is vanilla icing cinnamon sugar fresh ground nutmeg and you're getting all that and then some this is very very nice you're getting that ginger you're getting the spices you're getting the clove but not overly spicy, not overly cinnamon, cinnamon -y. Very, very nice. It reminds me of a nice gingerbread cookie or a gingerbread um, donut or bread type scent. So that's going to really, really burn well. I'm hoping it gives a good um, throw. I have no clue because I've never burnt this candle before. So that's spiced gingerbread. I think that one is going to be exciting to burn. And then this one is part of the Love, Peace, Hope, and Joy collection. 
and this is Peace Iced Raspberry Bellini. And to me, this is to die for. I really, really like it. Look at the packaging on this. Very, very nice. Even though it comes with just the white barn plain silver lid, I still like it. And let's hear the scent notes. Iced Raspberry Bellini. Chilled Prosecco, Sparkling Raspberry, and Citrus Twist. This is to die for. Very, very nice. You're getting that raspberry. You're getting that citrus twist. You're getting the Prosecco. Very, very nice. I'm really, really happy with that one. I went crazy for that one <laughs> this year. So pretty jar. I think this was a new um, packaging for them. I haven't been to Bath and Body Works for three years, so I don't know what's in and out. To me, this is all new. So um, this is part of their, like I said, Peace, Hope, Love, and Joy collection. That's Iced Raspberry Bellini. I highly recommend that one. And then this other one I think is pretty as well. It's Snowy Peach Berry, and it's really, really nice. I like the snowflakes on it. Um, it's a little bit plain, but still, I still like that. And then a plain silver top, but I'm all about the silver top. And then it's Sweet Peaches Tart Cranberry Sugared Musk. And you're getting that tart cranberry and the musk, um, the musk. And then you're getting a little hint of peaches. So it's not as strong as I would like it to be. You're getting more of the cranberry. The musk is making it pretty though. The musk is, to me, making it like a perfumey kind of candle, but that's just my nose and my perception of it. But this is a really nice candle as well. So snowy peach berry, not so much, you can smell the peaches, but you can smell the other um, scent notes. And I really, really love that. And then, this one, I love the plaid collection this year. Um, the berry spritzer. Look at this jar. Like, isn't that gorgeous? Like, look at that. That is so nice. I'm keeping some of these jars. And then it's just a plain silver lid, but I'm okay with that. Scent notes on this is frozen juniper berries, cool peppermint, and black currant. And you're getting a lot of black currant. Oh, this is so, so nice. Um, a cool peppermint. And then the fresh juniper and berries just make it a little bit Christmassy. So it's giving you that kind of woodsy kind of Christmas kind of vibe. To me, it all blends really well. And I really, really love this, actually. So berry spritzer. It's a highly recommend for Christmas. And for, I, I would burn that any time of the year, so, um, especially around Christmas. So that was really nice. And then here's the Joy candle. And look at this. This is so, so pretty. And I went crazy for this scent this year. Don't know why. And then it's just this pretty silver lid. It's um, cotton candy champagne, bubbly rosé. Sweet strawberry and pink sugar. Oh, wow. This is so, 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 so good. But it's sweet. And so if you don't like sweet scents, you won't like this. But this, if the strawberry comes out, the bubbly rosé comes out, the pink sugar. I went crazy for this in the body care line and in this um, um, candle. So... There's the candle again. Very, very pretty. So I'd recommend that one if you're into sweet scents. And then the Joy. I don't like this as much, but it's okay in the candle. In the body um, care, I didn't like it, but this is um, Sugar Snickerdoodle. And look at the packaging. And then again, the silver. And you're getting that um, cookie kind of vibe from it. So the scent notes on it is snickerdoodle, spice, cherry, vanilla, and sugared musk. I don't get the cherry from it. I get a little hint of the musk, but that's okay. But I'm mostly getting that snickerdoodle spice cookie coming out in it. 
so in the candle form it's not too bad i think it's really strong in the mist though i don't want to smell like a cookie but <laughs> when i burn this this is going to be a nice cookie a kind of scent nice bakery so again that's part of the love peace hope and joy collection very very nice and then this one at another plaid one and i really really like this I don't know why my lid isn't sitting on properly. But look at this plaid, too. This is really, really pretty, too. I like the plaids. So, and this one is Cranberry Pear Bellini. Fizzy Pear Nectar, Sparkling Red Currants, and Tart, tart um, Black Currant. I thought it was said Bergamot, but no, Black Currant. And this is to die for. You can smell the black currant right off the bat. Oh, and you can smell the other notes, but they're not as prominent. You can smell the red cranberries after that note. And then you're getting the slight hint of fizzy pear nectar, but just the back note of it. So this is a really nice candle, too. Um, I'm really, really happy with that one, too. So that's my first bag. <laughs> second bag <clears throat> is hope so I'm not digging the label as much because I don't really like gold and then they have a silver top I think they should have had like a gold top but that's just Bath and Body Works still a nice candle um, it's not one of my favorites though um, in this 20 um, set It'll go back, like, if I were to rate this um, from 20 to 1, this would be 20. I still like it, but it's, like, not like the some of the other candles I got. So, Winter Peach Marshmallow and Velvet Peach Vanilla Meringue and Creamy Jasmine. So, you're getting that jasmine right off the bat. Then you're getting the creaminess of the vanilla. And then... You're getting a little bit of, to me, it should be peachier. And then you're getting that peach. So I think it's going to be a light burn, to be honest. But if you like come in the background kind of sense, this would be the one to, to go to. So that's Hope Winter Peach Marshmallow. And then this one, I thought this was really, really beautiful candle. It's Winterberry Wreath. Look at that, and I'm keeping this this container too. Isn't that gorgeous? That just screams out Christmas in a very pretty way. And then look at the lid. I love the lid to this. So to me, the lid fits the container. Um, fresh picked orange, juicy blackberry, warm the vetiver. And the vetiver just makes it all that much nicer towards the end and then your blackberry and the orange oh, I could smell this all day this is so nice this is such a nice scent for Christmas and it's kind of wham bam in your face but not overly um, not like some scents this is a nice Christmas scent I would highly recommend this one to winterberry wreath um, to me these are all pretty much new um, so I'm looking forward to that. And then another one is Falling Flurries, and this is another gorgeous, gorgeous jar. Like, look at it. Isn't that so pretty? And then the pretty lid. I think some of these, I just like the containers. <laughs> but, um, I do like the, the smell of the, the candles. So, um, Frozen Time, Fresh Eucalyptus, and Sandalwood. I was surprised about this one, that I did like this one. You're getting that fresh eucalyptus, so you're getting more of a fresh, um, woozy kind of sweet eucalyptus. And then all the other scents come out, the um, frozen thyme and sandalwood. You're smelling the sandalwood, and the thyme is not overly done, and it's it doesn't smell herbally like you would think. So... I really, really think this is a pretty, pretty scent. Like, I don't know how else to describe it. It's not spicy. It's not really woodsy, woodsy, but it's 
it's really, really pretty. It's nice for Christmas. So that's Falling Flurries. Another one that I picked up was Fresh Cut Lily Lilacs. And of course, this could be all year round, but you know me, I'm the floral girl. <laughs> and this is pretty. The wax is that color and the, um, the glass is a pretty, pretty lilac-y. And then they've got a goldy kind of lid. It's from White Barn. And this is everything, like lilacs. That's fresh lilacs, dewy greens, spring air. What more can you ask for? And exactly what it says. And I could smell this all day. This just makes me happy when I smell florals. Florals is my go-to, and it just boosts up my um mood yeah this is the one so <laughs> fresh cut lilacs i really love that one so i'm glad that i picked that one up and then i picked up white gardenia this is a pretty pretty um i know it's not christmas it's for like spring spring summer but i would do this all year round look at the pretty pretty um jar and then the lids eh, nothing to write home about so this one is classic white gardenia sweet apple water bamboo and white woods and mostly i get the um gardenia right away and then all the other stuff <laughs> i couldn't decipher but I love white gardenia, so I'm happy just to be smelling the gardenia and the floral. It's a really strong floral, so I'm happy about that one. That makes me happy as well. And then this one. Um, give cheer. I'm on the fence about. It's kind of an interesting label. It's kind of pretty. I love the... It's a clear... Um, clear... Um, glass and then it's also a silver lid and then um this one is strawberry prosecco splash of rose water and vanilla bean so and you're really getting that prosecco this is smelling different from when i smelt it like a couple days ago and then when i first smelt it in the store but you're definitely getting that really strong strawberry prosecco, um, hardly any floral note, and vanilla on the back note. So you're getting that really, really strong strawberry prosecco um, smell right away. So this is smelling different. Every time I smell this candle, it's like I like love it and then I hate it. So it's just <laughs> one of those things to my nose. So there's another eight from my 20 that I picked up on candle day. So just excuse me. And then the last eight. So excuse me for bending down and showing my head. This one, I'm surprised that I really, really love. It's salted caramel eggnog. This is to die for. It's, it smells like bakery to me. Um, this is a pretty label as well, even though it's gold and then the lid's gold. I really like, like this candle. I like the smell better. Gooey caramel, fresh sea salt, um, dolce de leche. And wow, very, very nice. <laughs> it would, um, smell like as if you're baking something. I don't know how else to describe it. It is sweet, but not overly sweet. You're getting the caramel. You're getting the creaminess from it. Very, very nice. So I would recommend this one. Salted caramel eggnog. Yummy, yummy, yummy. <laughs> Almost good enough to eat. And then, of course, I picked up another fresh cut lilacs. But in this jar, I think this jar is just absolutely gorgeous. And it's just Pretty much straight up lilacs. Um, so I don't really have the scent notes here. So it's just fresh cut lilacs, just like the others. <laughs> so I liked it because of the the jar. I'll keep the jar. 
Okay, and then down to my last four. Of course, this isn't a winter, it's more spring, summer, but I fell in love with it. It's Iceland, Island Margarita. Don't ask me why I thought it was Iceland. Um, it's this pretty, pretty green glass. And then you're getting like a gold um, lid. But this is everything. This reminds me of other scents out there. Very, very nice. Um, it's like a, a drink, an island drink. Sweet mandarin, island mango, and sea salt. You're not really getting a lot of sea salt, but you are getting the margarita part of it and um, the bubbliness of it. Um, so you're getting mango and you're getting mandarin. So very, very nice. I would recommend that too. I know a lot of people are saying, why are you even showing this? It's almost Christmas. Well, I would burn this all year too. <laughs> um, I'm just that type of person. And then this one is um, blueberry sugar. I thought the container was really, really cute. It's got stars on it. It's a pretty, pretty wax. And then just a lot of... Um, lids this year. I'm finding a really plain compared to um, other people's lids. So depends on the candle that you get. And this one's scent notes is sweet blueberries, brown sugar, and graham cracker crust. So you're getting that blueberries. You're getting that sweetness. You are getting that graham cracker crust. You're getting the bakery. And um, brown sugar though, I don't necessarily get the brown sugar note or the caramel note. I get like a sugar, um, like a white sugar, but mostly the blueberry comes out. So this is a very nice smell too. So it's all along the sweet line, but still a good candle. And then this other one, sorry for me having to bend over this one. Everybody kept raving about it, strawberry pound cake, and I found it in this. Um, this is a pretty jar too, and then just a silver. And strawberry pound cake seems to be their signature, one of their signature um, um, scent notes or, or candles. Fresh strawberries, gold it's shortcake, and whipped cream, and it's all that, and then some. It reminds me of cheesecake, actually. Strawberry cheesecake, which you're getting the bakery, you're getting that strawberry. You're definitely getting that cake-ness to it. Very, very good. Um, heavy on the strawberry. I really love that one. And um, it's good. So pick it up. I'm sure if you haven't already experienced it, I'm experiencing it. Um, experience it. And then last but not least... To my candle haul was peach bellini so in this i thought this was a nice cool jar too and then it's kind of i don't know to me this looks gold but it's actually silver so weird <laughs> um scent notes on this um, succulent white peach sparkling prosecco and sweet orange Ooh, i love this the um sweet orange comes out and then the peach and then um, the sparkliness comes out so it's like a fizzy drink actually if to be honest so I would actually drink that combination so very very nice if you like peach so I really really love these candles so we were only um, allowed 20 and I think 20 was enough because <laughs> I have other candles um, to show you. I'll show them in my next video of what's in my bag today. Um, but these are the 20 that I picked up on Candle Day. SAS sale is coming up the 26th of December. That semi-annual sale. I don't know if I'm going to go to it or not. Like, I have these 20 candles. Plus, I have small candles. Plus, I have, like, a load of other candles that I picked up on various sales. I don't think I've paid over $12.50 or $12.95 for a candle this year. So um, 
between coupons and specials and savings. So I think I've been doing well. I think um, the least I spent on a small candle is seven fifty, a little, or maybe six ninety five, and then um, yeah, I always hit all the sales for the the body um, care and the hand soaps. So I've been saving a lot of money, but I've been spending a lot of money. So <laughs> it evens out in the end. But I still had fun. I'm obsessed with Bath and Body Works lately. So thank you very much for spending a little bit of time with me going over my Candle Day haul. I enjoyed sharing it with you. If you have any comments about the candles that I showed you, please put them down below. Um, I hope you guys enjoy Bath and Body um, shopping in there. I just come out smelling like everything, especially when I go in to... Um, purchase body mist I smell like everything <laughs> and then some and every time I get to the car my husband goes whoa <laughs> anyways have a great Friday have a great weekend take care be safe be happy catch on the flip side bye for now